Hey scapers, so I'm doing the video for you this week. James is retired for the week. Um, so let me show you what we've got, show you around the shop. Come on then. Right, so should we check out hardscape room, show all the wood we've got. So we've got loads more wood in stock, loads of tallow wood at the top, and then structure wood in the middle. So that's what we use now, a little nano shrimp tank and lots of finger wood or red moo root if you want to call it whichever um manzanite is in stock down here and yeah loads more stuff plenty of rock stocked up on that plenty of stuff in here so get yourselves down for that and then let's go to the nano room so the nano room we've got lots more shrimp back in stock We've got some really, really red, red cherries, blue velvets, blue jellies, black sakuras, yellow fires. Um, what else have we got down here? We've got red release and carbon release. So lots of neos in stock. And on the Caradina side, we have the SS grade crystals, we've got normal crystals like your A-C grades, we have the red spotted head pintos, SS grade crystal blacks, blue bolts and tangerine tigers. Next we have the fancy red tigers, still eating the breakfast from this morning. We've got the one stripe King Kongs. We've got the red tigers, fancy black tigers. And there's not many of these next ones left, but the blue tiger orange eyes and next star is the red tiger orange eyes. We're only a few of those left. What else have we got? What do you want to see next, James? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Little fish? Yeah, little fish. So you've got the lamp eyes and a few rosy loach left in there. There is some galaxy rasboras, just starting to colour up now. And some armoured shrimp or vampire shrimp, whichever you want to call them. Oh, Tucanos are back in stock. Tucanos, yeah, lots of them. Lovely little fish, same as what we've got in our little display on the counter when you come in. <laughs> Um we have what have we still got? can't believe these are here, Nicole. Oh no, they're really nice, the orange sparkle rice fish. They're really nice. They're only just starting to colour up in orange, a couple of them starting to get a little hint, but they are more silvery but really sparkly. Yeah, they've I don't got know like if the some, catches it. Yeah, some of the scales much, shine up, don't they? Yeah. Um what else have we got? Loads of snails down the bottom. Just down here, so we've got your nerites, red races, red onions, and batiks. Lots more bits in here to see, but come have a look for yourselves. We've still got appointments this weekend actually, so we've got some available in the afternoon, and then we've got a good few spaces left on the Sunday, but they are starting to book up quick now, so they are, right get there. in, get in. Drop us a message or give us a ring. Um, dry goods, we've had a bit of a change around, I don't know if we showed you last week or if we did it after that, I'm not sure. But we've sped our arse out a bit more because we've got more products in. Put a couple of demos out as well so we can show you. Which is nice and easy. A um, couple of new NIOS products, so good for sumps tanks. Reactors. Yeah, we've had a good change around. Dawson pumps as well, they're back in stock. But yeah, plenty in here. We've got more fish science food, haven't we? Oh yeah, we've started getting a lot more of this in. Um, just because it's good food and people seem to like it, so... It is, uh, the founder of this is uh, quite a reputable guy in the... Um, in the fish food industry. Yeah, really nice chap as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, really nice guy. And uh, he's brought his own range of foods out, so we thought, why not get them in? Because we know the bloke and we know, well, we've used that one 
constantly and to be fair uh, they absolutely go mad for it so there's yeah. um, different foods there for you you know there's He's kind just of brought a couple of new ones out as well. The oh, he has, yeah, I forgot about better and the shrimp ones as well. Yeah. We actually tested the shrimp ones before he, he sort of released them, and they seemed really good, so we thought we'd buy them. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, the spare room, we've just start, uh, finished water changing in here, so it's looking nice. Ready for you lot to see at the weekend. Still can't get over how nice these light screens are. I know, they're lovely, aren't they? Proper, proper bright. I can't wait to escape this drunk properly from you. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to escaping this one. I was just, you know what, I've been having to think about these, Nicole, and you know when you're sometimes at the back of your tank where there's plants, you know, if you've got real thick plants, um, you lose a bit of the um, leaves from the bottom, don't you? But with the well, light, the screen, light can't yeah, because the light can't penetrate down the back. Mm. I was thinking that'll definitely help with that sort of scenario It'd because be a little boost, wouldn't it? yeah, so you might not lose as as many leaves off the plants at the back. Yeah. That one's had a bit of a trim, hasn't it? Bloody hell, it's bald. I know, yeah, <laughs> I've butchered it a little bit. George's tank's looking really nice, really full. Oh blimey, yeah, that's really getting full now. It's had a good trim this week as well. Thought we'd let it go crazy, really overgrow, and then give it a good trim. Really starting to take. Oh, look at that slope. That's cool as hell. Hey, got skills, haven't I? Skills with scissors. <laughs> Can I ask what scissors you use, Nicole? I used the Seacan Wave scissors. Uh, Aqua Vitro all the way. It's a good Aqua line. Vitro, yeah. They are brilliant, brilliant value for money, like, I'm not going to lie. Got all fish scared stiff. <laughs> but yeah. That's uh, because they're just warming up again, I suppose. George Escapers is really coming on well, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. God, blame, look how tall that tunnel and green is. Hellish. Mm -hmm. It's good, that. The crypts are lovely and brown, like brownie purple, that yeah. rusty colour they go. Gorgeous. Right, go on then, let's show them fish. <laughs> This week, you might have seen these traps earlier on on one of our videos. Lots of them. So they're red eye tetras, guys. Yep. So what's in George Farmer's tank? I love the way they're all huddled together as well. <laughs> um, we've got the cardinal tetras and a new type of tetra that we've not had in before. Uh, not new, new, but new to us. Um, they are melon. Milano Stichos. Probably haven't said that right, but they colour up a gorgeous fish. So can't wait to see what they start looking like. Colour's starting to come through on them yeah, now. Yeah, they're getting like a blue shimmer, aren't they? I think they're yeah. going to be really special. Really, really nice. Um, what else have we got in that's new? Congos. So, oh yeah, more XL Congos. Some big, big fellas in yeah, there. Some big ones in there, isn't there? Yeah, look at that big fella there. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, still got some wood eye tetra left. They're stunning them. Yeah, I saw quite some, a few last weekend. But... Something crazy about the the way that like there's not another tetra that looks like these. No. They're so nice. Even like the males are starting to get a lovely white fin on top. I've noticed, and they're going yeah, like the, a deep. There's the dominant. Uh, look how colourful yeah. that is. So nice. Gorgeous. So nice. If you want something a bit different? That is that is your one. Definitely. Um, Orange Venezuelan curry. The Venezuelans. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> it's cool. We've got some jumbo cardinals. More wood eyes. Yeah, more wood eyes. <laughs> they are mint them. They're a line. newer batch though, aren't they? So they're not quite as coloured up yet. Yeah. Oh, and some little July curries in there. Oh, yeah. I love those little guys. Julies. Julie eye. There we go. Oh, <laughs> cool. Um, a map of Tetras. Oh. Oh, fancy glow light, as James has said before. No, they are. <laughs> don't get me wrong, they are no, a lot they better are than glow light. I don't know, I still like a glow light though. Um, oh, they're new. Yes, they are. Serpe Tetra. Really That's nice so and bright. bright. They're not quite red and they're not quite orange. They're just bright, 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 aren't they? Mm, they look stunning, them. They do. Is it the the ADA lot use these quite a lot, don't they? Yeah, I think they use them and red phantom tetras quite a lot, I've noticed. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're uh, like big stunning fish. Well. You can see why. So, um, what have we got in here? We've got some of these traps left. Surprisingly, lovely. Very nice, yeah. Uh, what I think we, Mark's what had his eye on them, though, no, Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> um, red tail honey grime, he's got some more of them. Nice and bright, and yeah. <laughs> do, 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 oh. Red ruby barbs, is that right? Red ruby barbs? Red ruby barbs. Black bab. ruby barbs. Black, Black ruby. Ruby barbs. Ruby, Ruby Bab. Ruby <laughs> Bab. They're this, just starting to colour up now. I'm going to say, yeah, when they settle in, they go like a real deep red start there mm -hmm. and they look stunning. Uh, some little bleeding. Oh, parts. yeah, plenty of neons in there as well. As you can see, guys, we have got loads and loads of fish. I'll just quickly scoot over them. Uh, they're just some of the new ones we pointed out, um, but it gives you a rough idea of what we've got. But we have got loads and loads and loads, so definitely worth checking out. Right, okay then, Nicole, are you ready for plants? You can have a quick look over, but they're just starting to turn off the lights now. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, I'll just quickly scoot over. Oh no! Oh, missed it. There we go. So oh, in vitro, <laughs> <laughs> best thing to do is uh, go onto our website and you'll see all the plants that we've got in this week. Uh, these guys are on for a little bit longer, so what I'll do is we'll scoot through them. So creenums, people's been asking for creenums. We've got them back in stock. Um, and we've got loads as well, haven't we? Yeah. You didn't hold back when you did ordering, did Wait. you? They're popular, <laughs> aren't they? So, why not? Cypress Elfarise, I've just noticed them. We've got loads of them as well. Microsorum types. And we've got your yeah, Hygrophila Balbitis. And we've also got the boosters there. There isn't many boosters this week, guys, because uh, wholesalers are out of stock pretty much, aren't they? Yeah. So, but they'll be back. Still a good few wavy greens and stuff. Oh, like yeah. I'll tell you what I've noticed. This little plant here is starting to get to colour. Holy moly, it's, it's like bright red. Yeah, it's lush. Back layer, longer foliar, that is. That's gorgeous. So it's a type of bulb plant. Is, is I'm guessing it's a big one. Yeah, it does get quite big. Um, it's kind of similar to the, is it ap Apognitons? Right, okay. Probably not said that right either. <laughs> but it's a bulb plant and it gets quite big, yeah, quite a so thick so. leaf, but it's really starting to come through. It's just a week's yeah. growth there, so you can imagine. Yeah, that's nice. That. I do find bulb plants once they settle in, the after second week they just go, they just start storming up, don't they? Loads of flamingos oh. in stock. Oh. Obviously they look like this, but then they turn bright pink. Like Ooh. that's not a flamingo, um, but they're, they're lotus. <laughs> yeah, they're bright, bright pink lotuses. Indeed. Oh yeah, cool. So stems, we got the usual suspects: crips, got rotalas, limnophilias. Yeah. Hipparoides, the red plant, believe it or not, that's an 04 foot. <laughs> <laughs> these are cool, I like these. These are a bit different. Look at them. Look like a big lily plant, don't they? They're gorgeous, them. Easy category plant as well, so if you're wanting something a bit different, there you go. That would look nice with a lotus lily coming through that as well. Would, you know, actually. like the, the contrast between green and red, that would look yeah. amazing. But yeah, super red the wig is, 53B, all that sort of jazz. Cool. So, Nicole. Bye. Take care, guys. If you want in um, this weekend, give us a call or a message or something like that. We'll book you in for an appointment. Until next week, guys, you take care of yourself. Give us a wave, a wave again. Later. See you later. Bye.